All right, so welcome to a brand new video about the Mi 11X and this is really, really interesting and important. Now, I'll tell you why exactly I say that. That's because we finally have a version of TWRP for this wonderful device, which allows full Android 12 decryption. That means now you can use your internal storage to flash ROMs. And in today's video, we're going to see how to flash this particular TWRP. I'm going to show you both the methods in which one of the methods will be including a PC. That is, if you're flashing it for the first time, you will need a computer and unlocked bootloader so before we get into the details if you haven't already please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash. let's get going So first things first, let's see what we have here. We have SKK TWRP version 3.7 Android 12. TWRP version on this is 3.6.2, updated on the 22nd of June, 2022. Now, if we talk about the change log over here, this update adds Xiaomi 11 series, 3, 8, etc, etc. More versions show the same code name, domestic device name is different. Updated Majisk, AAA device temporarily starts black screen, 865 validation error, MII update support, password decryption required before update. Historical recurrence, advanced the title of the UI is abnormally cool when patching the boot. Anyways, those are technical change logs that we are talking about, but for us, it's going to be pretty, pretty straightforward. Now, what you do see over here is Android 12 on the Mi 11X, official 13.0.6 global. Now, this particular guide will completely work for the Redmi K40, that is the Chinese variant of this device, and it will also work for Poco F3, that is the global variant of the Mi 11X. Now, you need to make sure of a few things. First of all, please make sure you have at least 40-50% battery on it. Even if you have 30%, you can flash it. But just to be safe, make sure you have at least sufficient battery. You need to have an unlocked bootloader. You need to have a computer with an active internet connection because you will have to download the recovery file. Now, this first method that I'm showing you guys is going to be for people who have never flashed a TWRP on their device, okay? Or who flashed a TWRP in the past and moved back to a stock fast boot ROM and now they have the stock recovery. Now the bootloader on this device is of course unlocked. So let's go ahead and start with the process. Now, what you need to do is you need to go to this particular section over here and click on download. Okay, now over here, you need to download the latest version that is 3.7 Android 12, Redmi K40. Download that file. I'm not a robot. Of course I am not. It says your download is starting and there we have it, bam. It's a relatively small file, it's just 200 megabytes. Now on your computer, I'll show you what you need to do on your computer as well. So while the file is downloaded on our phone, I'll quickly take you to our computer over here. Now over here, you need something called as platform tools for which the link is mentioned in the description. You just need to extract it to a folder of your choice. For me, it is in gadgets and platform tools over here. And as you can see, I do have the TWRP 3.7 extracted over here, the IMG file, right? Now, let's go back to the device for a minute here. Now, ideally, you would not lose any data, but before you do anything of this sort, it is always a good idea to make sure you've backed up all the information on your device because God forbid, if you have some issues, you might lose all your data. So it's always a good practice to go ahead and back up the data. Now, you'll of course need one of these as well. That is a USB cable. Before that, you need to go ahead and click on power, power button and reboot and press and hold volume down and power and keep it pressed till the time you see the fast boot image or logo. Okay, now as you can see, the device is reflecting that it is in fast boot. Connect the phone to the computer. Okay, as you can see, we are connected to the computer. Now, at this point, you need to make sure that the drivers Xiaomi drivers for your fast boot mode of your phone are installed on the computer. If you want to how, you know, know how to do that, you can just Google. There are tons of videos and guides. It's very, very simple. Now over here, once you've opened the platform tools folder, go to the address bar and type in CMD and hit enter. Now we'll first verify if the device is detected. So we will type fast boot space devices. Okay, now this serial number over here clearly means that the device is detected just fine. Now, what we need to do is we need to run a command to flash the TWRP first. So fast boot, flash boot, and then you see this file over here. We will just drag it over here. There you go. Hit enter. It says sending boot. 
Okay, now that has been flashed. Now we'll press the up arrow on the keyboard and we will just remove the flash part because we want to boot into this particular TWRP. There you go. Now let's hit enter and see what happens on the device. It will immediately start booting into the latest SKK TWRP. As you can see, there you go. It takes a couple of seconds. So if you see a black screen, don't panic. That's completely normal. Okay, now it is asking me a lock screen code. So we will enter the lock screen of your ROM. This is my password. You see it is encrypting, decrypting. It is encrypted, it is decrypting. Now, if you click on install, select the internal storage, you will see that all the files are visible. This used to be not the case earlier, right? You can see the internal storage on the computer as well, which is really, really nice. But let's go to the home screen first. Let's go to advanced and select flash current TWRP, swipe to confirm flash. This will make sure that your current TWRP is not overwritten by MIUI when you boot into the ROM. Okay, now as you can see, the current TWRP has been flashed just fine. We don't have any errors, all right? Now, once you've done flash current TWRP, you're good to go. Most of the time, you will not have any issues. And this is a quick step-by-step -step guide to install TWRP with Android 12 decryption. Everything should be working fine because it is working fine for me. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.